Now to a shocking and violent attack at a bus stop. A security camera captures a man sexually assaulting a woman. And KCO9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is now live in Santa Ana with who police are looking for at this hour. Stacy. Yeah, Jeff, police tell me that the attack happened at a busy bus stop just like this one behind me, about a half mile from South Coast Plaza. Tonight, police are releasing the security tape and the composite sketch. They're hoping that the public will help them catch a violent predator. This is an individual that needs to be off the streets. You're looking at security tape from an OCTA bus that captured a violent sexual assault on camera 8:30 Saturday night. It's so profane we had to blur it. But police want you to take a good look at the suspect, last seen wearing a Dallas Cowboys number 82 jersey. It's so sick that people think that they can come here and do that. Tonight, women just hearing of the attack in the South Coast metro area of Santa Ana are terrified and angry that now they have to be on the lookout for a violent predator. Do you really just want to like live your life as even as a woman just walking and wondering, oh, maybe that guy next to me is going to do something like this? Like, no, nobody wants to live in paranoia. This is only increasing it. That's terrible, honestly. They, the fact that someone would even do that in the first place is just, it's sickening. Police say the victim in her 50s didn't know the man. She was sitting on a covered bench waiting for the bus when the suspect attacked her and sexually assaulted her. He took off when the bus approached. Public has a right to know and a need to know this individual is violent um, and we want to get him into custody. Police are looking to see if the suspect is possibly connected to other unsolved violent sexual assaults, like the teenage girl who was attacked as she sat on a Santa Ana park bench two months ago. People don't just start out by doing random violent acts. Um, so our fear is that this could happen again. Fear it may have may have happened in the past. That's why Santa Ana police have contacted Costa Mesa police, Fountain Valley police, trying to link him to any other possible unsolved sexual attacks. If you have any information, Santa Ana police would like to hear from you. That's the latest from Santa Ana. Stacy Butler, back to you. Hope our viewers can help out. Stacy, thank you.